Hello everyone. I want to talk about this little gem today and what it might mean for your skincare. So this is the overnight resurfacing peel. So I want to talk about what the different uh, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids are, what they mean, uh, what they will do for your skin, who is this good for and how to use. So um, when I first heard overnight resurfacing peel, the first thing I thought of was it was something you peel off your face and that is not true. So um, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, bottle, which is of course all glass. And of course on, on our boxes, we'll tell you how to recycle, which I love. Um, but our overnight resurfacing peel is a blend of alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. So a lot of time when you're looking at a peel that's on the market, it may just contain one type of acid. We have 15 different types. And the reason why is we have the exfoliating acids and we also have the hydrating or soothing acids. So if you haven't been able to use an overnight peel or a resurfacing peel or peel products, um, skincare products that have alpha hydroxy acids, uh, maybe they were too concentrated of one type of an acid. And so we have had this on the market, I think it's almost been two years. Um, I've been using it, uh, I try to use it at least two to three times a week at night. Um, I have some clients that can use it every night. And um, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So what this overnight resurfacing peel is a blend of alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. So alpha hydroxy acids are gonna exfoliate that top layer of your skin. So basically as your cells die, they can kind of clump together and then they get stuck on top of the skin. And so the alpha hydroxy acids will dissolve that, kind of like they'll dissolve that little glue and then that is what's sloughing off the dead skin cells. So it's an exfoliator, um, which brings me to a good point that if you do have sensitive skin, sometimes a peel might be better for you than scrubbing with an exfoliator which also is an, another good point. You don't wanna use the overnight resurfacing peel on the night that you're using an exfoliator. It might be too much. Um, Beauty Counter does not use any retinol or retinoids in any of our products, but if you still are using a product that has retinol or retinoids in it, um, you do not wanna be using this the same night you're, you're using the peel. It might be too much. If you have sensitive skin, of course, skin test. Um, but I will say that I have had um, clients been able to use this product um, even with the patch test with sensitive skin because we do have those soothing acids in there. Um, and basically, after you slough those dead skin cells away, you're gonna increase your radiance in your skin, you're gonna have that smoother texture and then fewer dark spots. So if that's what you're looking to achieve, this might be the product for you. Um, and it makes it really good for sensitive skin that, that people maybe can't use those scrubs. Um, and so then we also include the beta hydroxy acids. So those are an oil um, based acid that really deep cleanse into the pores. So beta hydroxy acid would be something like a salicylic acid. And that's why this is also a good product for people that maybe deal with a little bit of acne. Um, because it is cleansing deep into those pores. So um, it's also increasing collagen production. So they don't just work on that epidermis, which is that top layer of that skin. They also have the, the deeper layer effect, which is in that dermis. Um, so studies have shown, I'm not sure, um, you know, I can bring up the studies if you'd like to see, but um, that, that alpha hydroxy acids have promote collagen um, development and just to a certain extent. Um, obviously we start losing that collagen, which is that um, plumpness in our face. Um, and so there's lots of different products um, that are out there on the market, um, but alpha hydroxy acids um, in this peel is one of those that have been proven or have been shown to increase that collagen production again. So um, that also brings me to another point that by doing that, that this also more collagen equals fewer lines and less wrinkles. So um, another benefit of this uh, peel has been the reduction of appearance of pores. So it really is a really great multitasker. And um, the alpha hydroxy acids, just a few of them that we use in here are the glycolic acid. Um, and so that's a derivative of sugarcane lactic acid and that is a derivative of sour milk and then citric acid which is a derivative of lemons 
And I have a little note here, oh yeah, because I couldn't remember everything, but the glycolic acid is gonna help with improving skin textures and resurfacing in the exfoliate. The lactic acid stimulates that cell renewal, and then the citric acid helps redefine and renew that skin. So what does this all mean? Um, I would say that along with the vitamin C serum, this product has been one of the products that people can almost see a difference immediately. You're obviously going to see um, within a couple weeks, uh, if you're consistent within using it, um, a definite change and a brightness to your skin. So if you are using that vitamin C serum now, this is just a great partner to have this at night, a few nights a week, and that a vitamin C serum is used during the day. So the vitamin C is used to protect, and then the overnight resurfacing peel is used to renew your skin while you're sleeping. So how do you use it? Uh, basically, you are going to, depending on whatever your regimen is, if your regimen is wash your face, treat, and moisturize, then you're gonna wash your face, Put your peel on your skin, one to two pumps. One pump is fine, I think, for your face, but I do like to put it on the neck and back of my hands, so two pumps is okay. Um, you do wait three to five minutes with this product before then you put your moisturizer on. So um, you may feel a little tingling. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, and that's that glycolic acid uh, working. You can feel it. So wait three to five minutes, apply your moisturizer, and then when you wake up in the morning, um, you just wash your face like you would in the morning and wake up. I do recommend washing your face, uh, definitely because this is not a product you wanna be using um, in the sun. So um, I'm not really sure the potency after you sleep on it and then go out in the sun, but I don't test it out. I wash my face in the morning anyway because you wanna wash off all those dead skin cells that are sloughing away um, and renewing at night so you can start with a fresh palette in the morning. So if you have questions, is this the right product for you? Um, if you have any more questions on how you add it into your regimen, if you have more products, well, let me just say it right now. So let's say you're using the counter time regimen, which is what I use. So I am going to wash my face with the cleansing oil. I'm gonna use my essence, or if you use a toner, I will use um, my peel instead of a treat step. So instead of any serum, I'm using my peel. And then I wait three to five minutes, put my moisturizer on an eye cream. So anyway, so now, now you have it, but you can still contact me if you have any more questions. Anyway, I hope this helped. I love this product and um, I hope you do too.